Hi everyone, Liz Dahlia here, aka the Queen of Hearts. Welcome to my channel, especially those of you who are new. Today we are checking out Fallout Episode 8. We are here, we are at the last episode of the season. This show has been highly entertaining, I've been enjoying it thoroughly. Some storylines a little bit more than others, but overall I've really been enjoying the series. I've been loving all the comments that you guys have been leaving on the videos. It's been really interesting and very educational and I am so excited to see how they're going to wrap up this particular season. I have no idea what to expect. I'm hoping Hoping we get some resolution with the Moldova thing. I'm hoping we get some resolution with Vault 31. Um, I, I would really like those particular storylines to be wrapped up and concluded and so that way we don't really have anything hanging over us moving into season two. Um, because even though like I enjoy a cliffhanger, I would really like some closure on those storylines in particular. It would kind of I think it would kind of bug me a little bit if they got carried over and dragged over to the next season. I want some fresh stuff next next season. But uh, so far, I've been highly entertained by pretty much everything that they've done. So I'm excited to check out what how they're going to end things. I've got no predictions. We're just going to dive right on into it. So before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It will let me know that you've enjoyed the series and you want me to be doing season two when it comes out. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already. We are making our way towards 500 subscribers and it would really help out the channel a lot if you could uh, hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. And while you're down there, hit the notification bell. Make sure you select the all options so that way you don't miss out on whatever series I react to next. And if anybody is interested in checking out a full length reaction, I am offering those over on my Patreon. They are all in a watch along style format, so you do need your own copy in order to follow along. But if that is something that interests you, the link will be in the description below. Alrighty, let's dive on into our episode 8. Uh, let's bring up the heart rate monitor. For anybody who is new to my channel, I use a heart rate monitor via my Apple Watch. That way you guys get to see what moments get my heart pumping. Let's bring up the show. Previously on Fallout. You are my world. Yeah, let's get some resolution with Dad. Daddy dearest. You can change the future. And but the whole thing with the chip. Some bad things gonna happen to you. Find me. I will. Mm, probably not. You're going in with the fake head. And your uh, knight is dead. He is getting filthy looks from that woman over there. Not happy with you, boy. You're wearing the knight's red. Where's your knight? He's dead. They're gonna scan for the chip, and when there's no chip, he is dead. I fear you lied then. No artifact, my lord. Just as you lie now. We will start a new brotherhood with me as its head, and the likes of you as its sword. Interesting. Your entire life you've been looking for a home. Build one with me. Well, you're very quick to turn your on, on your own, man. I mean, like, saying what I need to say to then get away from you, dude. Because you seem that little myth. Oh, ain't no loyalty with you. Her eyes right then look huge. I know they're not actually huge, but they looked huge right then. You've reached your destination. I feel like her eyes don't normally look that big. I don't know why they looked extra big. And now the ghoul's coming along too. Everybody's gonna converge on each other. 
I've never seen him use any of these. Like they all look like they're different kinds of shots, and I'm wondering what each the what each of them does. They all look like they do something different. Have a great day. Thank you, Coop. Okay. You're gonna stay there so you can listen in. I wonder if there's a radius. A radius. Is she gonna notice the bug? Uh, my pit boy. It's been acting strange. The transmitter is always activated. Well, maybe take it over to the boys in IT, have them take a look? No, no, I can fix it myself. I just need to figure out where the Pip-Boy is trying to transmit I'm, to. I'm heading out. I promised Janie that I would teach her some roping. Through. So ideally... Yeah. Bud, <laughs> we're getting late. Oh, yes. Let's go. Big day today. Yeah. Good luck. She had a weird look on her face then. No, I was <laughs> You gonna go in there? Yes, you are. This does not seem like a wise course of action. What a view! Lucy. He's in a giant bird cage. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the f why is there a zombie at the dining table? If you don't mind, I'm gonna keep things civil. Put in a food. <laughs> Brought you your friend. What if I tell you how I know your father? Yes, that'd be nice, thank you. Who he really is. Yes, please. You think your father was born in a vault? Like you? Okay. Like your brother. Now we're gonna learn the mystery of Vault 31. Now this is just ridiculous. In a great game of the... In a... Oh, all right, all right. That's a brain in a jar. No, 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 no! What are you? Initiate protocol 53. What the hell? All right, all right just hold still. I <laughs> just hold still. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I won't answer your questions unless you let me inject you with this. <laughs> the secret must be guarded. Don't, don't go in there. Don't you go in there. Don't read anything in there. Or turn on the lights. You access the info tree or look at the turn. <laughs> I'm coming. What is this place? Don't access the info tree. Any idea when? There's a new guy who works with Barb, Henry. I'm wondering if Henry is gonna be. Wait, is that her dad? Is that his name? Is his name Henry? It's gonna be. And that means he's a ghoul, right? Time is the weapon with which we will defeat all of our enemies. That is how we will win the great game of capitalism, not by outfighting anyone, but by, by outliving. outliving. Even if you outlive all external threats, here's my problem with the vaults. You can find a bunch of rats in a nest for a long time. They end up eating each other. So who's to say your rats are going to survive better than those animals on the surface? What is he about to find out? That is going to be her father. And how do we design our vault society so our children have that better future? I suggest we hedge our bets. Wait! I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. Why isn't this working? This is Conflict Resolution 101. <laughs> Where's the rest of the vault? Is this where my dad's from? You'll never find out. Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> the brain in the in the jar. They've been in cryo. A well-trained staff of highly supervised junior executives for my own assistant training program. Because the future of humanity comes down to one word. Management.
We have over a hundred vaults spread across America. Enough for each of you to claim several where you can play out your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. Whatever you want to do, no one needs to know. Interesting. And the best idea win. So I'm wondering if this is how they get away with having like vastly different things every season because it'll be one that one of the other companies created. People with positivity, people who make lemonade, people who will inherit the earth after we've wiped the surface clean. Wipe the surface clean. They wipe the surface clean. Yeah. We could intentionally overcrowd a vault so people have to compete to survive inside it. Now, we have been developing a robot that delivers milk to the front door. It's quite intelligent. I would like to see a vault governed by it. What about using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier using illegal immigrants? Adult. It's a wow. fun idea. But we're talking about making a significant investment based on a hypothetical. And she's going to say it's results? not a hypothetical. By dropping the bomb ourselves. There we go. There we go. He is so excited to yep. meet you. Now we're going to see her father. There he is. A nuclear event would be a tragedy. But also an opportunity. Mr. Howard. Huge fan. I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this is not as much of a big reveal as this music is Your making it sound right now. You Joey Toro in the face. And this CGI in his face is really... Feo fuerte y formal. This is our chance in our current societal configuration which took shape without intentional guidance we have friction we have conflict and we have war okay so it's nice that we've got to this war never changes stuff but we were kind of able to put this information together th through the season so we're getting confirmation of stuff we've already been able to work out i hate to be that guy but this is a bit of a reveal, but it's we still saw it coming at the beginning of the episode. He never told you where he's really from. Hey. I was just scared of going to the wilds. I had no idea they'd blame you for it. I'm sorry. Which is why you didn't look into your boot before you put your foot in there, because you were doing that on purpose. Don't be. Makes sense. I was meant to go on that mission. Well, you're Rose awesome. was so clever. Like you. How does she know the Lucy, mother? Your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. The cryo. From that one clue, she deduced that maybe civilization had returned to the surface. Okay. When she told her husband, he said it was a ridiculous idea and that she should tell no one. Lucy, let's go. Let's And that's when she realized. Where are you gonna go? You can't her you're in the cage, dude. Overseer was hiding things. Lucy, let's go. Let's get out of here. You're so locked in a cage. Away. You can't go in it. Don't be like saying let's go. Saying And took her children. And she found this wonderful city. That was everything the vaults had promised she to. She is lying. But then her husband came after her. And when she decided not to return home, he, he her took her. the children. And he burned that city to the ground. So that's what's happened to the other, I can't remember the name of that city. Shady, Shady Sands. Sands. He's lying. Let's see. That's how they Dr. Bond. deals with competition just like they did 200 years ago. Believe it. I believe it. She now remembers her, remembers seeing, meeting her. And the town. Lucy. My mother. What happened to her? 
I think you know. Is... Is that the mother? Oh... Oh my god! I did not see that coming. Oh my god. Incoming. <laughs> oh seen the slide come here. <laughs> Everyone equally afraid, equally miserable. Forced to do horrible things in order to survive. And Lucy, I had to make a choice. But would it have been that way? Between their violent world and our peaceful one. If he hadn't destroyed Shady Sands, I would it have been that way? I know. Oh, oh! Tomorrow, so they say, <laughs> will be a, a bright new sun will suddenly break through. Okay, <laughs> the people running with but their flags. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Grab a weapon. A flag's not gonna do shit. I Put your flag down. I know you're all like. <laughs> Tomorrow, so I <laughs> the problem with the world is factions endlessly fighting, endlessly at war. Then what is the solution but to get rid of the factions? To make the world us, only ours to shape. But that in and of itself is a faction. You are your own faction. If... Just like that, if you want to destroy the competition. Don't want to be. So your very argument of getting rid of the factions is like doing the very thing that they are also trying to do. I see it Ooh, okay, we got the goal now. Nope. <laughs> I can't see shit. Now all the knights are gonna be dead. <laughs> Open the door, Lucy. Open the door, let's go. I wonder if she'll be like, I'll open the door, but I'm gonna shove mom in there with you. Put mom and with dad in the cage. Put mom and with dad in the cage. Come on, do it. Reap the cow. Repercussions, repercussions. Put mom in the cage with dad. Come on, do it. Thanks. Lucy, let's go. Come on. Wait. We gotta get out of here. No, no, not no, no. with him. Why not with him? What do you mean? What? It was him. Lucy, he what? bumps Shady Sand. Say it. Say it. Say it. Shady Sands. Are you gonna kill are you gonna kill daddy? Somebody's gonna kill daddy. Come on. Is it you or is it mom? You or mom? Or is it ghoul? Three options here, somebody's gonna kill dad. Did that knight just get back? No, he's got in, in the suit. No. <laughs> oh, Marius. Max. Maximus. Max. You're not gonna hurt me. Ghoul might. Come on, somebody. Sh come on, somebody. Oh. Hey, there we 
we go. At least he's been shot. Oh, you want another autograph, young Henry? Feo fuerte y famoso. Now I've waited over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where's my wife? Where's my fucking family? Oh. Yeah. What? Well, okay. I'm very disappointed that nobody killed him. You look out at this wasteland, looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. And that's who I want to talk to. Now you can stay here with him, but when his tin can soldier friends take this place, and they gonna take this place. They will kill you and everybody here. Are you gonna put mommy dearest out of the misery? Please do so. Killing mom. I wonder why she l kept her alive this whole time and didn't kill her herself. Moldova? Did she die? We never saw her die. So she could still be alive. We, last we saw her on the, the, um, the gun. She could still be alive. Do you see body? Always a chance. Activate. What are you activating? What did you just trigger? We did it, Rose. Did what? For electricity back. Brought power back to the city. What do you suppose your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Destroy the world. Honestly. Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. So she's not a ghoul. She was in cryo. How did she manage to get in cryo? Is that their leader? You killed her. No, Dane. All hail Maximus! That shall be night hereafter! All hail Night Maximus! Well, that was easy. All hail Night Maximus! All hail Night Maximus! All hail Night Maximus! All hail Night Maximus! Everybody was just on board very fast. Cause that person's dead! Oh hell, and we're just gonna go my with it. Echo, <laughs> okay. Shadow, we three Nago. We're, we're not even company. My echo, my shadow, and me. Okay. With my shadow, I talk with my echo. Every time I feel like this is like the end of the episode, we have a little bit more. We'll wait for you. Okay. Where's this? And that's going to be season two, guys. Top hotels and casinos. Crypto. Sweets. Alright, so I'm wondering if each season 
we'll see like the vaults and we'll see the differences between the vaults and it's going to depend on which of those companies we saw at the table in this first season sponsored those vaults we see 38 on the wall on the wall there so i wonder if this is going to be vault 38 in the next season but it's a it's a way that they could have like very vastly different um vaults and things in each season very neatly um new vegas interesting okay all right well that's the end of the season holy moly uh, i really um enjoyed the fight sequence there was a lot of uh, really funny moments the ultimate reveal of dad being around at the beginning um it didn't it wasn't a shock when it officially came out because they'd said enough stuff earlier on in the episode for it to be kind of obvious so i felt like they probably should have withheld having those little snippets at the beginning so then when you actually had the reveal it was like oh my god the whole thing with uh, the cryogenic storage and stuff that was very interesting the whole stuff with the brotherhood yeah still over the entire course of the se of the series it would be my least favorite of the storylines comparatively the three of like the ghoul storyline and all the backstory we saw there and all the um information that we got about him lucy and the vaults and i'm sort of encompassing all the stuff that happened with the brother in in that as well actually no that should be its own thing so lucy's uh, a story along the surface the brother in the vault the ghoul and maximus and the uh the brotherhood of steel of those four storylines because they were really the ones that we were following this season i enjoyed the brotherhood of steel storyline the least i would say the brother in the vault and the ghoul storyline i would probably put them as my favorite i really really enjoyed those two particular storylines i love the mystery of uh, all the things that the brother was discovering and all the whole thing about what was in Vault 31 and all of that, I found that really interesting and intriguing and I was looking forward to uh, finding out all the little um, intricacies and the mystery and all of that. I really enjoyed that. All the stuff with the ghoul and all the things that he had been through and all his backstory and discovering that, you know, Vault Tech set it all up. But yeah, I would say the ghoul storyline and the brother in the vault hit those two storylines I really enjoyed. Uh, then Lucy, then the Brotherhood of Steel. Not to say that I disliked any of them at all. Like, there weren't none of them were bad. I thoroughly enjoyed all of it. But if I'm going to rank each of the different plot lines that they did throughout the season, that is how I would rank them. Uh, the acting overall... I really enjoyed everybody played their characters really well. Uh, Maximus, I felt like a lot of the things that he was doing was definitely f um, like there was a naivety to his character. There was a naivety to how he would react to things and how he would engage with things. And um, over time, I sort of appreciated that. The interactions, particularly between Lucy and the ghoul, I really enjoyed their interactions a lot. I found their scenes together to be really enjoyable and really interesting and um fun to watch and entertaining there were so many um fun moments throughout the season so many things that just like had me laughing out loud it was so funny um so i really appreciated the humor the action and some of like the <laughs> <laughs> like blood explosions and stuff with some of the fights <laughs> and the brutality of the world was like oh my god but it was very uh very nicely done very cool um really enjoyed it really loved this series loved this show cannot wait for a second season i'm really really looking forward to it 
Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about this season, this series as a whole. Are you looking forward to a season two? What do you think that they're going to be doing in season two? Do you have any predictions about where they're going to take this show? Will we be following the same cast of characters or are we going to be following brand new people? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the series. Consider subscribing if you're not already and hit that notification bell and make sure you select the all button so that way you don't miss out on whatever it is I end up reacting to next. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Much love to you all and I'll catch you next time. Bye.